this is a, uh, one circuit for a drive motor and this is another circuit for another motor, possibly the steering motor. And we have two relays, two double pull, double throw relays. Um, I, for the first one here, I could have gotten away with a single pull or a single throw relay, and I have a diode. So there's really effectively uh, three components that uh, supply this switching logic. And then here I have this nice connector that comes in uh, with signals from the spot and uh, power and ground here. And then on the other side of this, I have these nice uh, male-female connectors that uh, allow me to modularly connect the uh, motor to our circuitry. And then if you look at the bottom half of this, you'll see, you can see that this is the first attempt here, and this is the second. I'm getting a little bit better at my soldering, but I'm certainly not a pro yet. Uh, but it's, it's being, uh, we're making a lot of progress here. Great, so let's see how we're doing here. I've got the drive motor circuitry uh, mounted on the prototype PCB and the uh, steering motor circuitry also on the PCB. And you may recall that they're identical circuits. Uh, they just have signals provided independently that allows us to test them independently as well. So let's have a look and see how this works. So these uh, red and green cables are effectively our H0 and H1 or H2 and H3 signals off the spot um, but we're just testing it without the spot initially so if I click this you can see that it's turning on it's going in one direction if I put them both down that would be them both on it goes the other opposite direction clockwise counterclockwise so it works nicely. All right, so we've got the circuit together. Let's try this again. Got this uh, connector here. This four cable uh, connector. We've got ground, power, and these are our two signals. The, they correspond to our high current pins on the uh, sunspot. Right now I've got this connected so that um, we can see if this motor is going to work. And the same signal applies to either steering or the axle. So we'll try this. Goes in that direction. Put these both on. Goes in the other direction. That's good. So now let's try it on the other side. And with this connector, we can just pop this off and place it on the other motor controller. Then we'll plug this in over here. There. And let's try it on this side. Good. Try the reverse direction. Excellent. All right, so we want to test this cable here. This cable is going into the spot. It's using ground pin, high voltage, and the four high and four high currents, uh, H zero through H three. And it goes through this cable on, and onto this board. So I've programmed these two switches to represent our drive motors and steering motors. And I've got to, I have to push this down because there's not enough tension on the pins here to stay firm on the breadboard. So let's see what happens. I, you can see, I don't know if you can see this light here, it's blue, and that is telling me that I have power to the system. So when I press this button, this switch, you'll see the LEDs on the spot come on 
and some activity on the test circuit. So this represents both relays being energized and this is only one. Go to the other motor. Here's one relay being energized, that's the drive, and then both being energized. So it looks like our software is working and we're getting the expected signals on our spot, from our spot.